from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. It's a little cold out. Yes, yeah, a little nippy. We like to film in the park no matter what. Yes, we do. Get outside. Mm -hmm. We yeah. love our park. This is our backyard, so of course we need to film in the park. It kind of is our backyard. It literally is, yes. All right. I was just checking this video yeah. two years ago here in the park. Okay. This is the CRKT tuna. We like to call it the big tuna. It's now going to be called the big tuna. Yes. Yeah. Sub $50 frame lock folder mm -hmm. um, that we like. Yeah, for sure. Especially for the money. Mm -hmm. I like the color combo of this one too. The green with the orange. Yeah. Little accents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Designer. Lucas Burnley. Yeah, custom knife maker. Yeah. This is based off a custom that he makes. Mm -hmm. Custom tunas. Custom tuna. Yeah. 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 But new for 2023. A compact now, version. We now have the compact. I don't know if he makes the compacts or not. In, in like customs? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe if these sell well, he will. You know. Perhaps. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we're looking at sub $50 CRKTs. Mm -hmm. What is the price on? Well, first, what's the price on Big Tuna? Forty-eight ninety-nine. Forty-eight ninety-nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's eight CR thirteen MOV. Right, and the compact tuna, or what I like to say, the baby tuna, is forty-six ninety-five. Forty-six ninety-five. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it only comes in this color too, which is black with the gold highlights, and they are very complementary of each other. Like I like the color combo together. Nice. Like that one's black stone wash, and then this is bead blasted. Yeah. So, I don't know. They look really good together. They do. Like us. It's like his and hers. You're saying that we look good together to everybody? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, this one's can, yours. This one's mine. Nobody can tell that. I like them bigger. You like them little. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's some, some inside information. <laughs> information. <laughs> Let's do with that what you will, I guess. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, let's actually get into a serious, semi-serious review. No, there's a lot of similarities, and they're priced similar, a mm -hmm. little bit less on the Baby Tuna or right. the Compact, mm -hmm. but they're both 8 CR 13 MOV plates. Yeah, they still. are. Mm -hmm. yeah. And G10, I mean, as you guys can see, the color difference. They're both stainless steel frame locks. Yeah. Right, right hand only. only. Right hand only, yep. Which Thumb I studs. like... I, I know we talk about this all the time, but doesn't it look so much nicer when it is only right hand only? Because look, it doesn't take away from the presentation side. Left-handers, give us a thumbs up. Well, they probably agree that they ruin things for a lot of people out there. Wow. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not agreeing with that. No, and people always say they think that you're left-handed because you're always filming with your right hand and handling knives with your left hand. Yeah. Well, what are some specs on the knife, though? Mm -hmm. I said I said the blade steel, 8CR13 MOV. It's 7 point, sorry, 2.7 inches. 2.7 inch blade yes. length. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the finish on there? Is that? It's bead blasted. Bead blasted? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and we mentioned it is thumb studs. Uh-huh. And right out of the box, it's really good. Like, it is. Like, there was another one that we got that was a little, it was a little sticky out of the box, but this one, as soon as it was, like, perfect. And look yep. at how good it fits in my hand. Like, I do have teeny hands, and look at how good the baby tuna fits in my hand. So why don't you like them smaller? I don't get it. That should be your knife. No, you you know me. I like things bigger. Wow. And you like things smaller. Okay. You see? And then, here, put that one in your hand. Yeah. No, seriously, though, it, the, the big knife fits me very well. Uh -huh. um, oops. I can get it. Yeah. Sure you can. It's flickable. <laughs> I do like what we were saying is that there's like just, a, it's more of like a coppery orange, I would say, as the That's color. True. Is it the same? Yeah. And there's the orange pivot collar too. Yeah. With the backspacer of the orange. Yeah. It just looks nice. Which is it the same clip on both? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Which is very functional. Deep yeah. carry. And if you do have a lanyard hole, I do like it when they just mix it in with the backspacer. It just doesn't really, I don't um, know, take, it doesn't take away from it at all. Yeah. I haven't used lanyards for a while. No. I used to. Lanyards are really dorky. Okay. I'm just saying, they are. Okay. That's Frank my stance on them. Frankie said it, not me. <laughs> all right. 
Now, this is a smaller knife that I would totally carry, especially in the summertime. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the weight on it? It's going to be pretty some, light. Yeah, let's get some other this little stats on here. It's going to be a good here. summertime knife. Yeah, it's super thin in hand, too. It is Not thinner. What she said. We'll, we'll get that. We'll get that stat as well. Okay. What is the weight? I mean, he is a stainless steel frame lock, so 2.8. Still pretty light. Yeah. Let's just compare to the big tuna. 3.7. Okay. So about an ounce difference. Yeah. And then let's see here. I got this kind of working at home. Let's see if it works now. Do we just need batteries? Why don't we replace them? Well, it's not the battery. It's the fine tuning of Pittsburgh. This thing is, this thing is Pittsburgh. <laughs> That's Harbor Freight, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. I think Harbor it... Freight from five or six years ago. Yeah. See, I got it to work again. It's okay. It's perfectly good. Oh, I'm sorry. People are like, push the other button, stupid. <laughs> that's what I'm saying in my head. 0. 0.41. 0. 0.41? So that's definitely on the thinner side. Yep. And yeah. then blade stock thickness, 0. 0.13, completely average. I feel average. like 0. 0.13 is much more average these days. It's exactly the same as the big tuna. So they're both on the thin side. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Exactly same stats. And they really have the same profile. You were yeah. saying that of a tuna. Yes. It, 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 this is what tunas look like in the wild. I can't say that I know what a tuna fish looks like, <laughs> but okay. Like, just think of him swimming in the wild. Sure. Would you want to eat him? Um, very appetizing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. We got some other smaller CRKTs to compare to. Yeah. This is the Attaboy. Mm -hmm. Kind of very similar overall length, too. And actually, what is the overall length here? About six and three quarters. Okay, yep. Compared to the big tuna, which is... Right about eight inches. Yeah. Okay, let's go with the other little ones here. And here's the Thero. That's kind of a bigger knife. We should have videos on all these. Yeah. This one is a different one. The Cotidae. 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 That one's stocky. Yeah. And then the CEO Compact. Talk about teeny thin carried knife. Yeah, I see our videos on those. And then the Razor Cliff. Yep. And then a regular size crossbones. Yeah, there is a larger from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But okay. I love the baby tuna. I got this in hand and I really liked it. I put it right in there and I was like, you know what? I like that. Would you like it more with a higher quality blade steel? Yeah, of course. But then it wouldn't be priced under $50. Exactly. I mean, you know, you can... And honestly, I actually... I, I know, I shouldn't say this, but I do like 8CR better than D2. You like 8CR better than yes, D2? Yes, I do. Because? It just doesn't rust as easily. Yeah. I mean, it's true. Like, this one is D2, and it already had, like, a little bit of rust speckles on it. Corrosion. I know. It's okay. just where we live, guys. I know it is what it is, but, yeah. That's her opinion. It is. Yeah. But, well, that's the baby tuna. Mm-hmm. Looking pretty good, especially for the price. I think he's cute. Yeah. I think it really is neat. No, it's a good knife. Yeah. Based off the custom. Mm-hmm. Makes me want a custom. Jeez. They, I was looking on Blade HQ. That's where we'll, we'll put links in, uh -huh. by the way, is Blade HQ. Uh, they have an S35 version of the Big Tuna. Okay. For 150 Oh, okay. It's a, it's a, I think it's an exclusive version. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. That actually would be a nice option. Yeah. What if they do that here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe if they sell well. I mean, yeah. that's a good option. But okay. another good option from CRKT. I like it when they do his and hers. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, if you made it this far in the video, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> like I say, we'll put links in. Okay. Make sure to subscribe. I think that's it. I think we did. We got everything. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.